We have heard all about the physical effects that riding on oblivion can have, but what about the psychological aspect? Will you ever be the same again once you have ridden on the most awesome ride of modern times? According to experts, it's all a question of whether one does or does not look down. down. If you are of a nervous disposition, we advise you not to look down, but be warned. If you do choose to close your eyes, this may be taken as a sign by your friends that you have no bottle. For us to fully understand what you are about to experience, we must first analyze how you feel about heights. Have you ever suffered from vertigo? Do you suffer from acrophobia, the fear of heights? Do you dream about falling? Most sleepers usually wake up before they hit the ground. If you do dream about falling down a long, dark tunnel, or a well, or a dark bottomless pit with restricted vision, bad news. You may be about to experience a feeling of déjà vu. Typical acrophobic symptoms are increased heart rate, churning stomach, dizziness, sweating palms, if you are experiencing symptoms such as these now, you may be a complete basket case by the time you come to sit on the ride. Of course, you could always telephone the Oblivion helpline. But unfortunately, I do not have the number. So, is the Oblivion experience anything like dreams of falling? The answer to that, unfortunately, is no. This is the world's most technologically advanced ride, far deeper, far darker than your worst nightmare. After experiencing oblivion, some people may wish to wipe the event from their memory. We should point out that hypnosis is not available at Alton Towers. Those who do ride oblivion may have to relive the experience in their mind. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over.